So if you're anything like me, getting your kids outside and learning about their environment and the wildlife that surrounds them is very important to you. And for little kids, it can be very important to give them something that they can really get involved in, something that's tangible that they can take home. And one of the best ways I've found to do that is through casting tracks. You think we'll find some deer tracks or coyote tracks up here or both? We found some deer tracks over there, a bunch. Found some deer tracks over there, sure did. It gives them an opportunity to get out and explore and to find something for themselves. And once they find some tracks, you can talk about the species that made it, maybe what they were doing, and how they were interacting with their environment. Okay. And once you find a nice, clean track, you can go ahead and cast it, and then they can take that home to show their friends. Boys, come here and look at this little creek cross and see what you, there's some tracks right there. You see them right there? Yeah. What do you think those are? Um, coyote tracks. That's a good guess. So what do you think that coyote was doing? Why, why is there four tracks right all there, all together? Uh, you don't know? What about, what about this creek here? You think that may have influenced why there's four tracks all together and why those tracks are right there on that bank? Might have jumped across. You think you jumped across the creek? Now casting tracks is very easy, it's inexpensive, and you really don't need all that much stuff. Basically, all you need is a couple of strips of cardboard that you can create rings with and tape them together. You're gonna to place that over the top of your track and that's gonna hold your casting agent when it, as it sets up. Now for the actual casting agent itself, there's a couple of different things you can use, but I prefer dental molding. Now you can get this stuff online, it's not that expensive, and sometimes you can find it at your local craft store. Now to mix this stuff up, you just put it a little bit in a plastic bowl and how much you put in is going to depend on how big of a track you're, you're talking about casting. But uh, for most tracks, say like a deer or a coyote or a raccoon or something like that, a cup and a half, two cups will be plenty. You want to add just enough water so that when you mix it up, it becomes the consistency of pancake batter. And you want to mix it enough so that you don't have any lumps at all. You want a nice smooth batter. Then you can go ahead and pour your casting agent in and let it set up. Now how long it has to sit there is going to depend on your environmental conditions. In warm, dry weather, it could be cured out in as little as 10 or 15 minutes. And in cold, wet weather like we have today, it could be as much as an hour or two. Now once they've gone through that initial curing, you can go ahead and pick them up, but you don't really want to do any heavy duty cleaning until they've cured for about 24 hours. After they've sat on the shelf for 24 hours, you can go ahead and hose them off, get a, a brush, and get all that dirt and debris out of them. And once you get them cleaned off, they'll have a nice cured out track that they can show all their buddies. So we live out in the country where we can just walk out our back door and find a variety of wildlife tracks. But even if you live in a neighborhood or even in the middle of the city, I guarantee you won't have to go very far to find some sort of wildlife tracks, whether it's a raccoon, or a coyote, or even just a squirrel in the city park. There's always gonna be something to look at. A couple of great places to look are the edges of fields and stream banks. There's always tons of wildlife activity around those two areas. But if you're still having trouble finding good tracks to cast, one surefire way to find good tracks is to find an area with a little bit of mud, maybe some moist sand, something that's gonna hold the track and put a can of tuna fish out there and you will have every cat and coon within a 10 mile radius coming to check it out. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading a new video every Wednesday and share it. If you've got friends that you think might be interested in this video, copy the URL, stick in an email and send it to them. But with that, we'll see you next time.